have some more breaking inputs now coming in. Another update that's coming in from Kerala. Remember the Kerala High Court has already pulled up the DGP and now we have a massive offensive that's being seen in Kotayam. These are visuals from Kotayam, PFI activists seen there, police presence are seen there on the streets but the PFI activists can be seen clashing with the police officials. Despite the heavy police presence in the area, take a look at what's happening. The, uh, the PFI activists trying to intimidate even the police officials. These are the visuals from Kotem. Mr. Varakkar, if you're still with us, uh, if you can talk about the PFI protest. It's one thing to call for a peaceful protest. The PFI said that they're going to have a peaceful protest today, but that's clearly not what's happening. Well, there's a ground reality in what your visuals are showing. People of Kerala are seeing what is happening. And uh, the in intervention of the NI is more than necessary. Uh, law, the law will take its own course. Let the matter be investigated. The Kerala government will have a lot to answer for all this because the police incompetence is visible. Why and how are these things happening in broad daylight are questions that remain to be answered by the administration of Kerala and Kerala dispensation of the left. Uh, in fact, the BJP has also been speaking of the connivance of the CPIM as well as the PFI. Uh, most recently as well in the murder of uh, several BJP and the RSS Karikartas in one of the biggest rallies that the PFI had taken up in Kerala as well. The death chants that were openly given out, the charge against the Kerala government back then had also been on going soft on the PFI. Well, this fear phobia is, uh, is a basic fulcrum on which these... Uh these people operate on. But let me tell you, in civil society, this is not acceptable. The left or right, whichever government is there, law and order is a state subject. If the state does not act, then it is uh, mandatory for, uh, for action uh, to be taken. And I can rest assured that people of Kerala will not take this kind of threats anymore. Okay, all right, Mr. Varakan, thank you, thank you for joining us on the broadcast. Uh, these are the visuals where, that we are playing from Kote M, and this is a place where there is heavy police deployment. Look at the visuals there. The PFI activists, not even as much as number as the police officials, and yet they can be seen clashing with the police officials. This is despite the police officials being right there. Vivek is joining us live with the details. Vivek, the visuals that we are seeing on our screens, the PFI activists, perhaps as much a number as the police officials themselves, but despite that, they are clashing. This is the place where there is a lot of police deployment. In fact, let's go across to Imran, who is joining us from there. Imran, what's happening? Well, you can see this one a bus here, which was pelted stones by the PFI activists, and now it is being taken back to the uh, to the uh, depot there. As you can see, early in the morning, this is the bus where passengers were coming, and now it has been completely pelted with stones. I can show you the damage done to the bus there. You can see the way earlier in the day when the passengers were there, early when the PFI started the march at 10 a.m., they play, they pelted stones at this bus. This is the Kerala State Road Transportation bus, which was pelted stones, and one of the visuals you saw early in the morning. Now, based on on which now the Kerala High Court has pulled up the DGP of the Kerala state asking how they allowed the buses to public transport to be damaged and uh, this is the situation there. Let me go across to the driver there. Sir, uh, after all, tell me what happened in the morning. In the morning, we came from the morning from the morning. We came from the morning from the morning. We came from the morning from the morning from the morning. पत्थर मारा आप कुछ बोला कुछ लोगन मारा कुछ नारेबाजी की नहीं कुछ नहीं बोला वो मार के अभी निकल गया मार के निकल गया कुछ बोला आपको नहीं कुछ नहीं बोला नहीं कितने बसेस को इस तरह से डैमेज हुआ आपके अभी दो पीछे एक बस आया दो बस है स्टोन अर्लियर 
in the day will show you and take also probably reaction from the from the driver here as to what they felt they had scary moments early in the morning today as soon as they started the bus at 6 a.m. when they're going to Alua to Perambadur this is when this uh, incident happened and uh, let me go across to one of this incident you can see from the visuals uh, that how badly the bus was damaged here Okay, all right. We'll go back to Imran in just a bit. He is joining us from Alua, and you can see the visuals there. The bus are being vandalized by the PFI workers. Uh, this was early in the morning, as the bus driver was just telling Imran. The state government buses have been targeted. The glass completely shattered, and this was when there were about five to six passengers inside the bus. It happened early in the morning. It was a dawn to dust protest that has been called. So early in the morning, the PFI workers had hit the uh, streets. In fact, Vivek also. gets us a report on what exactly happened in the morning the second bus which you can show you examples of how big stone was thrown at there uh, this is where let me go sir subah mein kitne baje patthar bazi hui hai itna na anjam patan se alle itna nahi 6 baje 6 baje hua aap kahan se kahan ja rahe the i was sir firmor firmor sir firmor udhar se alwa ja rahe the सर आप कहाँ से कहाँ जा रहे थे पेरबावर से आलवा जा रहा था अच्छा सुबह छह बजे हुआ था ये सुबह छह बजे हुआ है अच्छा आप बस में कितने लोग थे जब सिक्सटीन लोग थे सिक्सटीन वन सिक्स वन सिक्स सिक्सटीन लोग थे सिक्सटीन लोग बस से जा रहे थे सुबह पेरमबदुर से अलवा अलवा जा रहे थे क्या हुआ किस लोग किसने पत्थर मारा वो तीन तीन आदमी वो बाइक पे आया हुआ आया है और वो रुक के बस रोक के पत्थर मारा था बस कहाँ पे रोका था सामने वो एम एम एस स्टॉप है सॉरी इधर स्टॉप है एमएलएस स्टॉप एमएलएस तीन लोग बस बाइक में आए चेहरा ढका हुआ था चेहरा खुला था चेहरा हेलमेट बैठा था हेलमेट पहना हुआ था हेलमेट पहना था चेहरा नहीं पता चला बस में पैसेंजर कितने थे जब सिक्सटीन पैसेंजर थे सिक्सटीन पैसेंजर थे सिक्सटीन पैसेंजर थे किसी को चोट लगी नहीं नहीं किसी को तो ये पत्थर फेंका उन्होंने दो पत्थर दो पत्थर फेंका एक यहाँ पे दिखाई ये पत्थर है और यू कैन सी दिस इज अ टू स्टोन्स बिग स्टोन्स were hit at this bus and the entire glass was damaged here there were 16 passengers in the bus during this time they are informing us they are the employees of the kerala state road transport corporation they are saying that early in the morning when they going from perambadur to alua which is the stronghold of the pfi these two stones people came uh, in this seems to be the modus operandi that people came in bikes two bikes they were wearing the helmet and they started pelting stones at the bus not to ply it and for this enforcing the hartal here these are the stones of which they uh, they pelted stones at the bus uh, which you can see the entire glass the front portion of the glass is entirely damaged aapko kuch chot to nahi lagi nahi nahi ha usko aankh pe thoda thoda chot lagi hai wo aap kya hua kal hum hai kaninde gona dange na phool liye aaj kal hua hai na acha so ye he, when he when with the they hit the stone then he tried to avoid it and they hit himself and he's injured his high that's what the driver is informing us there were 16 passengers in the bus when they pelted the stones thankfully no one was injured but the kerala high court has taken stock of the situation they pulled up the dgp asking how this they allowed the incident to happen that public proper property do damage like this thankfully there were 16 uh, passengers in the bus but no one was damaged but you can see the kind of uh, uh, devastation we're seeing because of the hartal uh, uh, called by the pfi activists against the arrest of the leader by the nia uh, imran getting us a very chilling testimony of uh, the eyewitnesses those who were inside the bus the driver also talking about how the bike just crossed they had stones in their hand they came well prepared the stones were in their hand they threw it on the bus shattered the glass completely and then immediately fled from the spot the driver was almost injured because of the shattered glass vivek kardalam is also getting us a report on what's happening there in kerala after the protest was called You are seeing me through a broken glass pane, which was vandalized by the PFI activists today morning as part of the dawn to dusk hartal that's been called in Kerala. Uh, the bus that's been totally uh, damaged when the PFI activists hurled stones. Now remember, this is a KSRTC bus that is flying in the capital city of Kerala. Let me just show our viewers what exactly has happened and how uh, you know it's been damaged. As you can see here, uh, the, the driver, the passengers. every one have moved out of this bus and you can see what has left now the entire portion of this glass pane 
has been uh, broken and the, the, the glass pane has been completely scattered. Uh, thankfully, there is uh, no one who is, uh, you know, injured out here because there are very few passengers at this point of time. Remember, there are four instances uh, in Tiruvananthapuram alone where buses have been targeted. These are KSRTC buses that's been targeted. Fear that there could be more attacks in the coming uh, hours because it is a dawn to dusk Hartal as you can see on the visuals uh, how uh, you know uh, the the bus has been left now uh, completely damaged the window pane is completely damaged and there is no one out here now uh, the KSRTC is taking at most uh, precaution at this point of time